you know, we're not allowed to be funny yet because I have to hit play real quick. Oh, boy. Coming soon Here to it theaters. Yep. It's the VHS trailer game. Ah, gong, 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 uh, gong. Oh, you know, man. We were doing good, and now we're going to be at each other's throats, Steve. <laughs> yeah. we, we actually I don't would, like it. Yes. Uh, it is America's favorite game about obsolete materials, hosted by me, the Jame Master, mm -hmm. Steven Sadak. I am the Jame Master. These are my clues. FYI, folks, uh -oh. we are kind of like rounding into like we're getting close to the end not close to the end but like second half of the year here really the season ends at the end of july oh and fyi God. if you didn't listen to our mortal Kombat episode that was on location live we did a trailer game and there were some points given out there there's also some points given out at our chud show right. i was gonna say this game is much more fun when we force others to play it exactly right. <laughs> uh the score as it stands right now Andrew Jupin has 35 points. Came back in a big way in that Ooh. Chud show. Hugely yeah. in that Chud yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, Eric Siska has 36 points. Mm. Yeah. I'm clapping for myself. <laughs> and <laughs> just one, no one else clapping. large beard hair ahead at 39 points. No way. Points. He's taking the lead? At 39 points. Chris Cabin is Evil Reigns. But everyone's in, within striking distance. We're going to go all the way through through July. We're going to see who wins. And as we know, if Chris wins, nothing but trouble will be an episode on the main feed. Oh, oh, yes. oh boy. And yeah. Steve will have to. We'll, we're going to do it twice in a row. No, we, no, will we not. are not. <laughs> we will not. Now, this is I was shocked that this was on VHS. So we came out in 2001. And I mean, like it had. 2002, 2002, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. 2002. It makes it even worse and more unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And like the towers the, were falling. It's yeah. kind of funny. Like <laughs> the, uh, the the it does have a this is DVD commercial on it. But oh, feel, this like one's that. more like listen, guys. I just want to be really clear here. Uh, <laughs> we we just had a meeting. You're gonna want to get into DVD. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if it's HD DVD or Blu-ray. <laughs> we're kind of, you know, we're waiting for porn to figure that out. You're going to you're going to want to get on board with the DVDs from day 1. You better get this song in your head. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Listen, VHS is literally almost over. So you really want to get into <laughs> DVD. It is hysterical that a movie that is all about like supposed like technological nightmares of the film industry came out on VHS. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be one of the last ones. So here we go. Mm. We all ready? So the game goes, obviously, I ask a question and everybody buzzes in as they do. And as they do, uh, five, four, three, two, one. The first qu clue is worth five points. Chris, by exactly. The way. <laughs> Thank you. In descending order, if you guess wrong in the in that round, you're out for the round. You come back for the next round. Everybody knows. This. Oh yeah. Everybody knows. We're all this. pros at this point, you know. And if you're yelling in your car, I can't hear you. <laughs> um, so None I was on can. the road. Yeah. Uh, round one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh God. Game Master's Clue. Mm -hmm. The blockbuster next chapter of a blockbuster adaptation <gasps> of the beloved novel Chris Cabin. The Two Towers. I need the full title. Lord of the Rings. Colon. <laughs> The two towers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't help him with the colon. <laughs> yeah, I would have forgotten that part for yes. sure. But this trailer had a, the requiem for the for a dream score yep. in it. Yeah. And that I oh, watched that last night, so and it still gets me fucking pumped. Sam, dude. Sam and it Frodo was, ass to ass in that. Or? They, wait, they, it was over the two towers. Yes. Oh, I didn't remember that. That yes. sounds cool. Dude, watch that trailer. It kind of rules. It's like a operatic version. It's not the synthy one. I remember when two uh, or when Fellowship was out, they did a thing where they put that. They sent a new final reel of the film, and you know Fellowship's long as fuck, so it was like reel nine or ten or some sure. shit. They sent you a new one because on the end of it, after the credits, they had the Two Towers trailer. Oh, with that song, and let me tell you. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, I am not throwing stones here because I am a man who paid full price to see uh, uh, fucking motion flow, the <laughs> Hobbit, yeah, because yeah. there was Star Trek footage ahead of, course. of it. <laughs> but we had a thing where motherfuckers were coming back to the theater, getting a ticket for fellowship, not going to see it, yeah. and just being like, I'm here for the trailer. <laughs> uh, and it was like, it's over, dude. Like, I can't let you in. And it was like a whole thing. Oh, wow. Okay. But you had people who were buying tickets just so they could see that trailer. I will tell you, if you had put a Kronos Quartet in charge of the scores for The Hobbit, might have been a better movie. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Go home and watch it on YouTube. You will get amped for The Two Towers. It, that trailer does its job. 
Uh huh. Round two. I forgot we were still two. We are. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Game Master's Clue. Wow. The celebrity laden conclusion to a surprise comedy powerhouse series wherein the lead actor adds yet another role. <laughs> Chris Cabin. Austin Powers and Gold Member. Yeah, it's Austin oh, Powers and Gold Member for five big points, Ugh. dude. You know I have just blocked out so much of the early aughts. What exactly. a fucking miserable yeah. time. This yeah. was sequel palooza. I mean, this is the. Be- I mean, it's still sequel palooza, but this yeah. was the yes. really beginning of it. I was shocked. This next, this next one is not a. The final one mm-hmm. is not a sequel. Just an FYI. Ooh, congrats, nice. Chris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> shush. You shush. Eric, get down off your cross. Play the game with us. Um, game master's clue. Weepy drama Oscar bait that would 1,000% not be made today because the lead actor's transformation into a man with a disability. Fun fact, a slur for that disability is used twice in the trailer. Ooh. 2002 Ish. disability uh, Oscar movie. Yes. <sighs> Weepy drama Oscar made that would a thousand percent not be made today because the lead actor's transformation into a man with a disability. Fun fact, a slur for mm-hmm. that disability is used twice in the trailer. Uh, I, got this one. Oh, sorry. I am Sam. It is. I am Sam. Yes. For five big points. Yeah. Dude, We're saying the R word in that trailer. In the first five seconds. Oh, my God. I thought it was just the audience no, saying that at the no, screen. No, it's amazing. They build up to it. Like, there's it's Michelle Pfeiffer, like, giving the closing arguments yes. in the case. And she's like, sometimes you feel like you're lost. <laughs> Fucking Sean Penn doing some goofy shit. Yes. You feel like you don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And then doing some more goofy well, shit. he's up to and some then, of that. And then Michelle Pfeiffer, that you literally feel... <laughs> yeah, uh, really. Yeah. Even yeah. worse though, the first the first five seconds like Dakota Fanning and some kid like finger painting, and the kid's like, "Is your dad?" And I'm like, "Come <laughs> oh, on!" Man. Like the first three well, seconds into the trailer, he just he did just travel to Ukraine during wartime. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, still not the worst uh, byproduct of that motion picture. What's oh the, oh, the yeah. fucking soundtrack with all those abhorrent oh, yeah. Beatles covers? Eat my ass! Not good. I never saw never. that film. Never I didn't happened. either. But fuck that soundtrack. I know Richard Schiff is the evil lawyer trying yes. to take away the uh, the, the child. Dakota, yeah, Dakota Fanning. Yeah, oh, Schiff yeah, will do Dakota that Fanning. to you. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, now I'm pumped to talk about Simone after thinking about. I am Sam and all those wonderful trailers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the R word firmly in my head. I'll talk about yes. Simone. I mean, it's weird though, because like every, every movie that you just talked about right there and Simone that we're talking about today, these were all like prime time, me and Chris working at the multiplex oh movies. And I remember like we had like, there was a big standee for this, the poster, the whole fucking thing. Were people posing with it? No, but it was uh, like when all that stuff came out and then it was the trailer. And I just remember being like, I'll never watch this. <laughs> yeah. So until last night, I stayed true to that. Oh, I, I had seen it. Uh, and I, I thought it was okay. Did you see it back then when we were working I, oh, at the yeah, theater? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw it. Simone? Yeah, I saw 2002? Simone. I saw it in the theater, yeah. Yeah, I saw it oh, then. Oh, wow. Uh, and I-